Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we got a new show for y'all. Fun filled weekend. Everything's going good. Weather's nice and everything. How y'all doing? Really good. <laughs> excited about life. Excited to be here. Doing great. That's good. Everybody gonna be here tonight. The original cast. Get that one. Turn it down. Turn it down. It's all right. <laughs> It's all right. So the ladies, ladies in the house tonight. How y'all doing, ladies? Doing well. Well, doing well, well, well. Yeah, well. I'm doing very well. Where you been? You know where I've been. Oh yeah, yeah. But let the people know. Where you been? I've been studying. Finished my last final. Praying to God my grades come through the way that I uh, would like them to. Would like them to, but whatever I earned is what I earned. Oh, you don't want the professor to give you an A? No. No, and that's always interesting. People getting Fs, failed almost every grade, and it's like, hey, professor, give me a C. What? No, fail. Take your grade. <laughs> Take your L. Cold blooded. Because you work too hard. F. You uh-huh. work too hard for somebody to get the same grade and they do nothing. Well, actually, that's life with a lot of things. I, I really don't care what the professor grades do. I'm just saying, some people say, you don't take your F. The same GPA of a 1.9 and a 4.0 got the same degree. So, yeah, does well, GPA but, well, make 1. a difference? 1.9? I don't think they get them their degree. Can you? You can't? I don't think you, no. 2.0? <laughs> 2. Maybe 2.5, 4. 4.0, you could say that. 2.0. What's up, D? 2.0, yeah, 2.0, 4.0, same thing, same yeah, thing. Yeah, they can graduate. You're right. That's accurate. <laughs> That's not quite nine, not quite. I don't think about one. I don't think you could be one anything but two. One yeah. point nine. Seems yeah. accurate. I used to know people were one point seven. I'm like, how your GPA? That's like a bad credit score. It's, yeah. It's like how I get that? One? Got one point seven five GPA. Wait, I got a hundred uh, credit score. It's like, damn it, get that low? <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> okay. That ain't funny. That might be actual people's. Is your score? No, I'm, talk, I'm real close to 700 now. Okay. I'm like, I'm I got a devil's score. Uh, I got a credit score of my 666. <laughs> <laughs> you got a what? 666. Is this something you're trying to tell us? You know, you I don't know. You, gotta, you know, there's other signs that are going on. You got to ask the credit people. No, I'm talking about that's a good end credit of score. Times. Yeah, I'll yeah, say, I'll say end of days times. Oh, right. it doesn't have a 666. <laughs> credit score. Square credit score six six six. I don't know if you guys follow uh, this guy Darius Cooks. Mm-hmm. He does cooking. He does like travel cooking. He comes and does like the big guy. Yeah, the big oh, guy. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, right I'm going to see him. Uh, Is it Houston person? No, he's in Atlanta, but he's from Chicago. He's coming to Houston. Yeah, he's doing dining with Darius. So I'm going to that. Actually, he was on uh, the cruise, Tom Joyner's cruise. Yeah, he was on there. He did that. Uh, but anyway, he has a company called Above 701, and help people get their credit score above 701. They just been talking about that. I mean, you know, it's a plug. He black, you know. Oh, let me plug it. I plug my homegirl hmm. here in Houston. She has a business called Castillo Financial. You met her, Angela. You met her and her sister. Oh, the light skinned girls? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the steel, are they making steel financial? Uh, 
Because no, light skin is different from mixed. They're, no, they no, are no. black. Their father is Afro Latina. So. They're, but they're black. They want to be dark skin. They are black. They're black. <laughs> I don't understand how, why we got to be specified as Afro Latina. Well, you know, I, 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 I say, don't like I, that at all. Well, when, mind you, like people who are from like those Latin uh, countries, the way they see black and white versus the way we see it here is completely different. So that is just how they're labeled, you know, Afro-Latina or Latino or, you know, Afro-Latin. But yeah, her, her father is black. But that's so when you're Latin, it means that you don't have black in you if you just say Latin. Versus, I still think I don't know. That's because see, thing. that's why. But it's one. But it's similar to like here in the U.S. We say African American. You know, they don't just call them African. We, they don't even just call us American. Well, I mean, they can call us American. No, when so people say American, American well, I mean, so, so I guess it's similar. Latins. It's they're Latins, but they're Afro Latina. We're Americans, but they still refer to us as African American. We always have a disclaimer. Well, I guess regardless of where we're at, there's a yeah. disclaimer of putting the African. Even though we're the majority in the world. world. And well, yeah, the minority. Isn't that something? It's crazy that the minority rules the majority. Now. Because oh, I see some really, really dark Asian folks too. Oh yeah, of course they're hidden. They don't put them in the back. Like, Af- really? Afro, yeah. Afro Chinese. <laughs> Afro Korean. Afro Asians. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, but she's. They're black. Their father, you know, from what we call black. They're black. Blackish. <laughs> They're black. <laughs> Ooh, or black. We, we, we would say. Melody. I think their father is from Colombia or something like that. I might be wrong. Yeah, I think they're Colombian. Melody. But yeah, Castillo, financial. She doesn't hey, Stephanie. Job. Hey, D. Oh, we can't oh, see that. D Wade, yeah. over here. No, we can't see. That did not. Can you slide that off a little bit, maybe? <laughs> I think the resolution is to reduce the percentage. I'm trying to make it. I want to see if you can tell. Yeah. Right. You see how, like, the. Sorry, y'all, I got big in this purse. What's up, Trey? I ain't talked to you in a long time, man. Where you live at now in the world? Dakota. Riggins. Uh. Still like people, my Louisiana people. I'll tell you exactly. Oh. Because <laughs> you know it's all delayed. What's, uh, what's been going on, man? Uh, what's been going on with me outside of school? Uh, what? School. Outside of school, son. my son had prom this past Friday. Um, that was very pretty cool to see. Um, see him get ready and go out with his. Did you cry? No, I didn't. How come? I just didn't cry. You cried. I didn't cry. You I mean, didn't let him see you cry, but you cried. No, I didn't cry. <laughs> I didn't cry. I didn't, I Talk didn't about, cry. have a nice night, son. All right, see you later. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. <laughs> no, but that boy right there, I swear, kids test you. He left like at 7. I fell asleep. I woke up. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. I was like, where the hell is he at? Man, it's prom night. Like, come on, man. Uh, it's two o'clock in the morning. So what? And you are out in my vehicle. Okay. So I called him and he was like, "Oh yeah, we're going to this after party." I'm like, "The after party?" He was like, "Yeah, we're going to this uh, this after party." I was like, uh, "Well, we didn't discuss you going to any after party. I don't know where the hell it's at. Bring my vehicle home." Then he was like, "Man, that means I need to drop everybody off." Who the? Who's everybody? Who the fuck is all this everybody in my car? Like, <laughs> why don't we tell us to bring hey. my people home? He was ready to die. Now, prom night, like, hey. I was like, bring my vehicle home. Now. Man, let the, so. let the boy uh, have fun. Let him what? Prom let him night. What? Prom. Let him, he have fun. If you're out till 2 o'clock in the morning, you have fun. Party, ain't just, party just started at 2. Clubs end at 2. The problem in at 11. Clubs in at 2. But, hey, what the, so what you been doing? And that's what I told him. You have to find I was like, it. what you been doing between 12 and 2 o'clock? Let me tell you what he was doing. I don't care. They was finding the best. I don't care. Popping. Not my 
no problem. Uh, well, no, what's the proper name of the word no more? What's, what's the word? Lit. Not my problem. Lit hotel room. Not my problem. What? What? what, what, what? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they had to find the most lit hotel room where the party was going down, and they went, and they had girls, they didn't and know. they had they drinks, didn't and they I had the smoke. Well, he might have. I ended the fun. I said, bring my vehicle home. <laughs> bring it home. And how, how fast did he get there? Uh, probably like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, right. Yeah, from the time that I called. <laughs> it was about 30, 40 minutes for him to get back home. Well, I hope you had fun, young man. Yeah. It was Did he get in trouble? With me? No, yes. just, just, oh, okay. Uh -huh. No, I mean, what? It doesn't have to get in trouble. Just bring my vehicle home. That's so sweet. She's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I guess other than that, no, yeah, that's that's what what happened with me. What about you guys? What's up? What you guys did for the weekend? He told me about what you did yesterday. I know what I thought. But I said, why didn't I invite? Didn't I say that? Yeah. I said, why didn't I invite Nisha and D Real? Cause they would have really enjoyed this. But I we didn't need it after my final too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we had, but the next one, semi-annual, we'll do it. Okay. So, um, me and a friend of mine, we decided that we wanted to... Give him a shout out. He's from Ghana. Be frank. He he does clothing. He has clothing. He's from Ghana, but basically he was raised in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, good so, dude. A real good dude. Yeah, real so cool. we always talk about, like, food and stuff like that. So we wanted, we decided we wanted to give people, like, a taste. So we decided to give him a taste of Ghana, you know, and his mom was like, yeah, I'll cook. And oh, I'm like, hold up. Right. Okay. I'm going to say this, though. When I went to Colorado and I was craving Nigerian food, uh, I found this lady who had some food in her home that she used to have a restaurant. And she was from Ghana. And it went hard. I'm saying. She knew how to make a goose soup. So I'm assuming all that stuff is still yeah. part of it's all West yes, African. Yes, it's all yeah. West African. So and I, I was happy. I had my fufu and my goose soup while in Colorado because of that lady. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we decided, you know, if they can't make it to the continent, we'll bring the continent to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why not? People celebrate all different ethnic you know, foods, they like, oh yeah, Mediterranean Thai, they want to eat pho, they want to do tacos, they want to do all this no, different stuff. Yeah, and there's a lot of Brazilian grills that just pop yeah, up. Yeah, all, all this different yeah. stuff, but nobody ever, like, expresses that much interest or talks about, like, and it was, different It was delicious. It was yeah, delicious. Yeah, like, what'd y'all have? So we had uh, peanut butter soup. Huh? No, no, it's starting to sell it. Oh, we had a salad. I don't know what that salad is called. Yeah, but it was one. nice. It was yes, lettuce and beans and... Uh, I mean, it's like a regular salad, but it's, it was different. Yeah. It was different. It was nice. So she made that. And shout out, that's Miss Brenda Mediaco. Um, she made the food. And um, so we had the peanut butter soup with the rice balls. Mm -hmm. And we had, um, of course, we had jollof. Yeah, then there goes at the Bay of Ghanani and Jollof. Like, yeah, well, we just uh, talked about, uh, uh, we uh, talking uh, about uh, Ghana, right? Now. <laughs> so, when you want to do a taste of Nigeria, backyard uh, I, will be ready uh, okay. in the fall. Oh, and yesterday, okay. I, well, I didn't find out yesterday, but yesterday, it was a party without a whole bunch of people. We had a bow. It was crazy. It was, crazy. It was just like it was packed. Oh, well, I had a DJ. Yeah, <laughs> I had a DJ in my backyard. We had a DJ. DJ, um, Thrill Seeker. DJ Thrill Seeker. Shout out to DJ Thrill Seeker. He actually DJs at um, Davenport's. Actually, it's tonight. He DJs at Davenport's on Richmond. Hey! And, um, oh, hey! Look, hey, buddy. Look who we found. Look at this. What's going on, man? Hello. <laughs> What's happening, folks? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Is he in the camera? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you are. You you are. It's just uh, he slid the whole screen over. Oh, okay. So. I don't think he's. 
Oh, we can't see from that viewpoint. Right. Oh, and it's delayed. So, yeah. okay. okay. Right. What's going on, y'all? So anyway, yeah, no, I was just telling about my last weekend. We had a, um, a backyard event for Taste of Africa Ghanaian Royal Cuisine. Yeah. That's what we call it. Yeah. But anyway, it was so fun. We had a full DJ. <laughs> like, for real. Yeah. DJ Thrill Seeker. DJ? You know him? I don't know him personally. I've heard that name. Yeah, so he was in my backyard. Uh, you, so You can call your boy? That's what I said. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Silky didn't say, hey, won't you? Well, because you said you had it set up already by the time we talked. <laughs> I mean, about. but to invite the people. No, he actually volunteered to DJ. <laughs> He volunteered to DJ. Something like $15,000 or something. He, 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 did say, he did say he was ready to battle. No, he was, he was good. He man, good. he was scratching his ass off. He, he was, was doing circles. He was going in back, front to back. I'm going to say I'm going to do all the mental tricks. Yeah. He was doing all kind of stuff. He was good. He was good. I wasn't, well, I wasn't here no We had Soul Train on. That's what he said. And he was saying that. Now he was probably studying or something. I was. Yeah. I was just saying I was. Yeah. How was y'all trip? I'm tired right now. I just don't know to work today. I don't know. I just I seen y'all videos. Yeah, I just got in like two, three o'clock in the morning and went to work. I don't know why I did it. I'm so tired. Oof. It was good. Cool, Twelve hours. Like, I posted a picture on uh group me. Don't the real look like the dude that killed Ricky on Boys in the Hood? No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. <laughs> The one that was in the car. Yeah. So the blood, he was a blood, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the red. You shot Ricky? Nah, man. <laughs> I was like, that don't even look like that. That looks just like the red. Oh, boy. Anyway, we had a good time, but I would love for us to have a taste of Nigeria. Oh, we'll see if we can do that. I'm done with that. But actually, you know, I realized because it's just a taste. Like if you ever been to Taste of Chicago, or you know the different tastes, it's small portions. Mm -hmm. So actually, we had too much food. But yeah. We should have did smaller portions. Mm -hmm. Just like people taste it. Really, it's just a gathering. Mm -hmm. It's just like a coming together, you know, event, and you talk about stuff. And then he actually had like the traditional bowl that he eats from, and mm -hmm. like how you eat the peanut butter soup. Oh, with not everything. Yes. Not everything, but he, he walked us through what you do and why you do it and uh and and one girl was like uh so can i wash my hands he said you know you eat at all yeah we had the bowl <laughs> there <laughs> you don't wash your hands at home. yeah <laughs> well, well, we had the water bowls outside yeah. you know so we did that i mean it was it was, it was cool. good it was cool. good Dude. It was like, you know, to give people that experience, especially black Americans, we talked about soul food, how, you know, yeah, that versus what actual food that, you know, is the royal food. The royal, I like that. that. Yeah. The royal food. Yeah, it's not that royal shit. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Be, be, be. It was good. Yeah, you know, Soul Train Line, we had a, a, a lion dance line. Yeah, we had a lion dance. We had a wrap off. We had a harmonica off. I was rapping. I actually started rapping. We had rum punch. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 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 Two people with harmonicas and they had a battle. Yes. So, so Michelle, uh, Seashell, Seashell, Seashell says. Great. Seashell, <laughs> Seashell, Seashell says, hey, Silky Black plays a harmonica. So this girl was like, hey, I got a harmonica. Everybody was like, <laughs> she was like, no, for real, I do. She's like, I'm going to my trunk. Yeah, she goes to the car <laughs> and comes out with a brand new harmonica. I was like, but shout out to Rose. She's actually uh, the lead in the the ensemble theater. Yeah, she's a real good singer Marmo, too. Marmo, Marmadu. Oh, that's the new play they got right now. Yeah, yeah. She's the. I lead. like the ensemble theater. Yeah, she's the lead actress and she sings really good. Oh, yeah. So anyway, she was. They was battling harmonicas. Yeah. It was hilarious. 
he's just some. No, he's like he's a good friend. Yeah, he was a close friend. So he had access to the room. He probably went up in there. He was like, it. "Hey man, let me go borrow this belt or some foolishness like this," <laughs> and went up there and slid that camera in that little angle. That's captain. crazy. That's crazy. What kind of guy are you, man? Mm-hmm. You're not a guy. You. A- <laughs> you. Let me find out. Say, let me find out. Let me find out. Yeah. Let me find out. Who's saying that? Uh, uh, Webby? Weeby? Let me find out. Yeah. B King got some. Man. That B King. Remember I was trying to play that that day? Which one? Throw that ass in a circle. Throw that ass in a circle. That one. <laughs> No. I think that's B-King, right? Yeah, I thought, I thought, no, Circle was, uh, this little rhyme. No, they got a, uh, B-King. They got B-King. It's like this. Do it, do it. Do it. You, t- oh, you, t- oh, you t- know what you talking about? Do it, do it. Yeah. 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 Y
All right, like four. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> What's in your throat? Uh, pizza. Pizza. Uh, don't touch that shit. Parmesan cheese. Uh, pretzels. Uh, shit. I can't think of no other pizza. Um, pasta. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't believe it. I don't know. It, it was kind of weird. But I was like, mm-hmm. I low key kind of believe it. I think it's kind of weird. I don't think he did. <laughs> but I guess. I know he gets on her nerves, though. I could just he tell. Got he got money. That's probably why. That's probably why. She, she was like, like hey. probably no. You don't yeah, be about to hey, you get my face. Go somewhere. Rastafarians don't. Do we believe that? They, they probably don't. They used to know. Bob Marley did something changed. Oh, <laughs> um, what's next? Have y'all seen any of Nikki's videos? Her new videos? Yes. Charlie and Barbara thing. I didn't know. Uh, thing. I heard the Charlie song. I kind of like it. That Barbie. I like Charlie though. I love Charlie. That's the song. Don't go hard. I knew with Barbie. Barbie, Barbie thing. She was on that spit. That's I didn't cool. like that video. It made me feel like um, Bamboozle. You ever see that movie, Bamboozle? Mm-hmm. You remember that movie? No, yeah, it was kind of like that. It was kind of like a minstrel show <laughs> because, like, the way I she, lie, oh, because the way she's trying to look her like body, me. like it is like, and the hips are all just everything is enlarged, exactly. and she had that real small bikini on, and it was oh, so, it looked so fake. It looked, it reminded me of bamboozle. Mm. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, you gotta yeah. see it. I'm gonna check it out. But I like Chun Li. Mm-hmm. I even like. I like, like the video, video too. I was yeah. like, why she didn't do Barbie things like? Cause I think she wanted to do the whole robotic. And people are trying to be like me, which is why I said I hope this new album that she's dropping isn't a whole bunch of. But how is somebody trying to, like to be like you when you're trying to be like me? Yeah, I'm Huh? Like nobody can be like you because you're like little Kim. Just like Kobe and Jordan. That's not the same. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's exactly the same. That's not Kobe plays just like Jordan. That's so the you, same thing. If people okay. say they try to be like Kobe, they not because a basketball, a sports skill versus somebody dressing and looking like the complete image of that person, those are two different things. Now she says not. I was with you at first if she said that, not with her. Yes. I mean you yes. should if you look at the highlight reels, it's like Dude, no. mirrored. I mean you can buy Okay, I can right understand. Too, you know what I'm saying? But it's still because Kobe right. grew up no. watching Jordan. So, of course, you'll take some of the person. Same thing. Nicki Minaj grew up watching Lil' Kim. If you would have said, 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 said that she rapped similar, I would have been like, hmm. But he wasn't, uh, like, her rapping is similar to Michael Jordan and Kobe. That would be an accurate statement. But her image, she stole her image. Not the same thing. Like, no, she did. What? Do you remember what Lil Kim used to do? <laughs> her red wings like, and her bikini and her. He just yeah. he just I remember Lil Kim. She used to be pretty, but now she's a Chinese woman. fat Chinese lady. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not actually Chinese, but uh, oh, okay. one of them. Oh, I don't know which. But if you did, I mean, but even they got similar looks. Sorry, I mean, Chinese. Next video, you know, now have you guys seen the Childish Gambinos? This is yeah. America. No. You don't watch this? Watched it several times. Oh man, that's good. Hey, yeah, I watched it a couple of times. Tell me more, go deeper. I mean, we, we will go deeper. <laughs> Shout out to Zoe. You know, one, one comment I will say is What's up, that Rob? song standalone without the video um, isn't as powerful. Yeah, the video. Really Song by I got mixed know. feelings about Childish Gambino. Me so. too. I, 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 and I know what y'all mixed feelings is. Oh, oh, mixed oh, 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 what's the mixed feelings about? Let's get on that. What's the mixed feelings? I think he's a strong. Oh, I think, he, I think he's, he's a, a strong. He's a woke brother. That woke brother. That fake only, woke. He's a fake woke. Oh, oh, what's he, that, what's he, that mean? Well, hold on. There's a lot of black men that like him though. Yeah, mm-hmm. they fake woke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of black woke. men that only care about black issues when it comes to black men. Right. So what you trying to say? What? I, I, I said it. That as a, as he, he, he spoke on us as a whole, not just the black men in America. I mean, he said a lot of um, problematic things, you know, and I was telling you about how he was joking all the time. How, tell me how that. he made break <laughs> jokes and, and um, try to justify it, and it's like just. How he made what jokes? Rape jokes. Oh. Like what aspect of rape is funny? 
Like, where's the hee hee ha ha? You know, it ain't funny if it happens to your mom and your sister or your girlfriend and your wife. But it's funny when you're just talking about it. Okay, childish. Right. <laughs> was it in comedy? It was something he tweeted. Oh, okay. Yeah, he tweets he a lot of stuff. He says a lot of stuff. He says some problematic things. And he don't even care women. for black women. But black women. And now, now then the, the other argument is, is with his views, does it now take away from that video? And I, I gotta watch I that video. Say, right. And I'll say I mean, it doesn't. My question is this: just because you date. Outside of your race, who they don't have their race? He does. No one cares if you date outside of your race. Yeah. No one cares if you date outside of your race. No one cares that he No did. one said anything about that. But you he's said you, that. I'm just saying, he's when you talk against black right. women. Right. And don't, don't nobody care. You can date and love whoever you want to love. But when you sit up there and date outside your race and then talk down on those within your race, that's mm. you dating outside that's a problem. problem. So that's, so that's fake woke. So that's the problem we y'all have with him. That he dates outside his race. That's the problem a lot of black women have with him, period. Oh. So it's not like every race. See, I wouldn't hear that. See, that's that's new. I just get around, oh, he dates or he dates outside of We race. don't care. Oh. That's, that, that's what was thinking me, man. Yeah. Like, Does nobody care about him dating who he gonna date? Yeah, because I was still watching it, watching his shows until that he said that, and I'm like, man, fuck this. <laughs> I can't even watch Atlanta no more. I'm like, I can't watch Atlanta no more. I love that show, but whatever. But you know, let's get to his, uh, our thoughts on his video. Um, I guess, what are some of the symbolisms for those who watch the video? Well, so I've been reading a lot of articles about it, and someone said that, like, he kind of pacified the video by when like him shooting like that man in the head, the, the Django. Like instead of it being like a white man shooting him or uh, oh, about him doing or that. him oh. him shooting the choir members, like why like if oh, he would have yeah. had like a white person doing mm -hmm. that, it would have been more powerful. But it would have set off a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have did that. Not no. I would have did that. He should have did it. Hard. If you want yeah, to see, it, see how you feel about it. If you want it, to send the right message, you should have. Because been. it is harsh. And then, but I, I, shit. <laughs> he said, and, oh, then, oh. and then, like, the choir members, like, that was kind of like the symbol of, of the Charleston. The mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Symbolism of well, that. Yeah, he should have did. He should have used white people if he wanted to send the right message. Oh, yeah, and how the guns, guns were taken off. They were gently hand, like, so the guns, after he would shoot, they would be gently taken Take off but, by a little but, child. With a, oh, did you see that? that was a child. Yeah, like, like, they, like it was like a red okay. kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and but with the bodies, like with the first killing, the body was dragged. Dragged, and then with the the choir, the the people were just left there, and it's showing like the disregard of the bodies, but how gently uh, the guns were being taken care of throughout all of that process. And then even with like the choir, what I found funny was the choir was saying. Get your money, black man. That's what right. we're chanting. Mm -hmm. and, and didn't they say something about tithes and offering and giving to the something? Oh, I, I thought they part said part. something like in reference to the church, but I wasn't sure. But you know, one thing I will say, it made me think of the prosperity teachings within the church. Exactly. I That's what like, I thought about. And what about <laughs> and what about the lady on the white horse? I thought about when I, I saw the white horse. Thinking. You thought it was a woman? Was it a woman? I thought it was death. I thought it was a I woman because. Hey, look, yeah, the hood. I was like, you could hood. ride the white horse. I thought that was in reference to cocaine and drugs, you know, because they they got a song riding the white horse. Well, they were they were saying that you yeah. look at it in reference to death on the pale horse for Revelations. You can and hell, look at it like all that. All hell breaking loose, you know, uh, behind them or right. behind, behind them. Yeah, because it was like chaos and riots, and it was like people on that second floor. I'm not sure. Oh, you know, like they were recording. Doing. They had cameras. They had video cameras. Oh yeah, they, they had, had their phones. phones. Yeah, they without helping, yeah, out. with the phones, because everybody pull out their mm -hmm. cameras instead of helping. And one beauty I would say about the video is because he's running around dancing with all that chaos happening. It's like that's literally what's happening. We're all. If, if no one actually paid attention to the background, you wouldn't know that all that was happening because you're distracted by the dancing. It was like that step and fetch. It's kind of like bamboozled. I need to look at it. Again. <laughs> again, derail, again, derail. 
don't know what bamboozled is. Bamboozle. I can't believe <laughs> it's, it's black people in 2018 that never watched bamboozle. You gotta watch that. You gonna be like, hey, look, wow. when I make it home, because I now have time for the next few weeks, uh, Man 10 is I'm sleeping. gonna make sure. Yes. Wait, what? Man, those are the two characters, Man Tan and Sleepy. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. That, that stance that he did at the beginning when he shot. Oh, they said it was the Jim. It was a pose from the Jim Crow poster. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. uh, Django from the Jim Crow. Yeah. It was, a, it was some poster that they show where the body is similar. Well, it's not. It's not oh, playing the. I put a big one like that. Yeah, that right there, because that's exactly how we pose. Mm -hmm. Um, why did he have his shirt off? Was that just that was a distraction? Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that torso. No, just to show you, to show you how hard he don't work out. <laughs> right, and all that weird dancing. And did you see how some of those ad libs were different people? Like I could hear. Oh, it was Quavo. It was uh, what's his name? Twenty One Savage. It was uh, who else? There was a few Slim other people. Thug. What's yeah, I heard him. him. Ah, some thugger. Or what's his name? No, people. There was like four. Yeah. Thugger, thugger, thugger. What's his name? That's my young thug. Young thug. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like the symbolism of like all the kind of new age, like what they would call, I guess, mobile rappers or whatever. Mm -hmm. whatever. That's, that's the reason why I said that that song by itself, if you just hear the song without the video, it's like, what? Huh? What's it? It's like, huh? You know, something that happened? Yes, that's helpful. That's a replay. What's that? When I lost. What? Are we back? It's just... I can't get back to it. Oh, okay. Um, so... Hmm. <laughs> but, um, I guess with Childish Gambino, it's like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna let that lead into Kanye since we're talking about woke folks. Hmm. Or fake woke. Or fake woke folks. Hmm. Yeah, but here's just the other thing is Kanye trying to be fake woke? Is he even trying to be woke? So you're talking about no. Kanye? No. I don't think he's I trying to be woke. He's just being himself. Yeah, he's just I mean, being I mean, his self. He's being his selfish self. I think we're mad at Kanye. We ain't mad at him. Now people mad. Some yeah, people, I said I'm not mad. People are unfollowing him and I don't hire his stuff. I think we because they're upset his voice is so big and for you to to have that much voice views. and power and to say something so like uneducated and just unresearched, just blabbing it out loud. So I think that's that's attention seeking. I think that people think well, you know what I don't, I don't think, think he's, he's I don't think he's even attention seeking. No, he, he likes like attention. attention. Well, Any attention, good, bad, whatever. I think he might like attention, but I watched TMZ interview and I watched the whole Charlamagne guy interview. Mm -hmm. And what I think the problem is with Kanye is, and, and even with, with black people is, when you go back to when he was like, Bush don't like black people, we're thinking, yeah, it's a woke world, he here for us. No, he's not. I don't think he was ever really woke. Because if you hear his reasoning for liking Trump, if you hear his reasoning for wearing the Make America Great hat again, if you hear his reasoning for liking uh, Candace Owens, it is some simple, basic logic thinking. Yep. It, and there's no real non genius. Yeah, there's not. There's no intelligence behind it. So that's the reason why when he even made the 400 year comment, if you actually hear his reasoning yep. behind it, you can then see why there was no intelligence, no knowledge behind his words. He's just talking. He is not his mother. <laughs> that, boom! <laughs> That's it. That's it. I mean, we kind of gave him something too much because his mother was a professor and she was a black panther mm -hmm. and she was this and that. That doesn't mean anything that he automatically to him. Yeah, mm -hmm. that he's automatically aware of different things. He's, he's not his mother. He's not Tupac. No. Lord. He's a fucking idiot. But question, well, but you know, my question is, is it okay? We mad at Kanye because he not, we, don't, at we don't like his thoughts. Is Actually, it okay for him to think like that? Well, hold on. Or, I can't say I disagree with his thoughts. because in, in the purest form of what the hell he's trying to say. Because all he's trying to say is think outside of um, 
what's being shown to you on media. Start thinking for yourself, even though he's doing no thinking. That's the reason why he keeps saying, right. Right. Free God. Well, no, it's just, free throw, but well, it's because, like, because Fox says, says the same thing that he says. Well, I'll say this, because I believe in free thought. I don't consider myself a Democrat or Republican. I have different spiritual beliefs. Well, I mean, most similar, but still different from what most people think. And it's all because I have done research, though, when it comes to politics and when it comes to religious views that I don't always follow the norm. So, yeah. so I agree with in that aspect of free thought, but I don't think that you should just say things without anything backing yeah, it. You know, <laughs> and I'm gonna say, and I'm not gonna sit there and try to decipher well what he was really trying to say. Yeah, no, he no, said no. he had a This beat. thing ain't making no sense no more. Exactly. <laughs> and what he doing, he just I talking he just talking said. out because he got money. Once that money leave he gonna be Back with the help, yeah. Well, we need to stick together. Type yeah, speeches, but he's still that saying money. that, though. No, no, no. He's still you saying that. You don't he's know. Saying we Tiger, Tiger Woods money burnt off a little bit. But huh, he's still, he's still. No, he's still saying that. No, he's he cares saying, about money. Love everybody, everybody should love. You should show love to all. He don't like, really. Say, he just he's saying, saying that. that. He just he's saying. a capitalist. He's a classist. He is. He just saying. That. He has no regard. I mean, he can say like, oh, well, they killing people in Chicago. Nigga, you don't care. He doesn't care. You Nigga, care. you don't care. He's not even from Chicago. He's from Arkansas. He doesn't care. You know, and... Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. But I was going to say like, <laughs> I think that what's his name? Van Lathan put it best when he said, no, what you're doing is the absence of thought. You know, there, there's no thinking behind anything he's that he's, he's saying, you know? Because even when he was like the 400 years of slavery was a choice, and then he kind of cleared it up when the Harvey dude asked him again, like, hey, what, what are you saying? And he was like, well, I'm talking about mental enslavement. Um, I can agree with the standpoint that we are mentally enslaved. You know, I do agree with that. But he right wanted now. to clear it up because he saw both of them looking at him like, what the like, fuck are you talking what? about? So yeah. then he had to say, well, you know, with Jews, because I didn't hear him say that the Holocaust yeah. was a motherfucking choice. Yep. So I know he going to... Uh, make sure that his 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 words are strategic because that's where his money is. Because if he would have said that, oh well, slavery the and the Holocaust was a choice, it'd be a problem. He would, you wouldn't even know where Kanye was right now. <laughs> Did you hear during his? Because he would be so shut down. Did you hear during his Charlemagne interview uh, when he said Harriet Tubman shouldn't be on the money, shouldn't be on the twenty dollar bill, and he said it should be Michael Jordan, and I said Jesus. <laughs> I didn't see I that said, I, I said, I said, I'm like, how do you sit up there and say that and in the same breath speak about free thought? You know, if anything, Harriet Tubman is the embodiment of that. attention seeker. <laughs> he <laughs> wants like, attention and he thought somebody was going to buy them two raggedy ass uh, singles that he came out with. I, oh yeah, let's get to these I singles. removed that shit from let's, my Spotify. Let's, let's like, don't play none of that shit on my Let's get to these singles. Um, I ain't listening to none of them, so comments. you can't even ask me the Two comments. The hoopity scoop, whoopity scoop poop. I'm going to tell you right now, I think he is testing the people for who's going to buy that bullshit. If y'all buy that stuff, sleep and eat. Literally say whoopity scoopity poopity poop. Sleep and eat. Man, <laughs> damn. Sleep and eat. <laughs> and then now the other song with T.I. And I was telling you this earlier, my thoughts on T.I. Because T.I. Mm -hmm. keeps wanting to run around Canceled. saying Kanye and what Kanye is saying is dangerous. Uh, T.I., what you've done with the black community in terms of selling drugs and the bullshit you don't rap about? He's a whole lot worse. Hold on, hold on. You can't just go off of that because that's, 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 a, that's a whole lot worse. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's an art form. 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 That's like if I paint slavery pictures, people being lynched, I'm, 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 Doing the dude wrong raps about what he community. did to the black community that we up up this way. Hold on. And we don't think that what he did or what he raps about is just as dangerous as what Kanye was talking about? It's not. So then you oh, gotta, okay. if you're going to go to T.I., you got to go to Jay-Z, you got to go to all I'm going to all of them. I'm going to everybody. the ones that are speaking out against Kanye. Bring them out. Bring them out. Hey, I'm speaking about all the ones that are, rap, that are talking um, against Kanye. To me, y'all didn't live and y'all ain't rapping about things that are helping us. I'm just saying. 
T.I. And shout out to I agree I listen to Dead Press And Toilette Quali <laughs> Shout out to Toilette Quali And Dead Press Toilette Quali I listen to uh, Red Star uh, Black Star yeah. <laughs> I listen totally to Dead Press <laughs> I mean I'm just saying Because I found it funny when I was seeing him But that's different though When you rapping different. When what you is- rapping it's a rap That's an art form when you just talking to people saying because rapping ain't talking to the people. No, it's music. So yeah, are you saying that? that? Yeah, yeah, it's not just music. music. Now yeah, because music, music is powerful. powerful. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, but it's, it's also it's also an art form, and people might not like E40 said. Scoop is an art. Okay, <laughs> okay. that's bull. Whoopity whoopity whoopity. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about because E40 said you think if I was out here shoot him up, bang bang, like. I rap about, you think I would be here? He said, I'm making up, I'm a storyteller. Nobody go after the the, the guy that wrote. So what, now T.I. made up all this shit he rapped about? Nobody go after the guy that, that wrote Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Star Wars or whatever, whatever movie. Nobody go after them. So are we talking about the people that actually. I'm actually talking about the people who spoke out against what Kanye is saying. That is who I'm talking about. The artist? I don't give a damn. Kanye's an artist, so now what? Maybe he is. He is an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye's an artist. After puberty school, she <laughs> do me the walk the new That's what you're saying. That's an art. That's, that's, I mean, because you, you can't argue that on one side and not argue it on the other. Yeah, All it might be some art, but it's crappy art. It's second grade. And, and, and that goes so Kennedy. deep because then you gotta start talking about the Kennedys. You gotta start talking about all people that have criminal. No, I'm talking about people who spoke out against Kanye, okay, who Kanye. don't have clean hands. Mm. That's who I'm referring to. Those who don't have. So what do you mean saying that people can, can only express their feelings about no, someone I mean, else? If they like nobody, nobody if saying you, that. Yeah, no, 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 that means nobody. what's what I'm saying. If you come out and say what Kanye says is dangerous, and you got songs out there about killing and dealing drugs, okay? Yet you're saying what Kanye is saying is dangerous. But David Banner did too, but he's a changed man. Yeah, he also raps differently. I haven't heard T.I. rap nothing <laughs> since, I mean, since he did, like... I think I'm gonna call it, it? Come on, it? He hasn't made any that, newer raps. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm referring to the music that he has put out. I mean, but was he talking about drugs or was he just talking about what, what was he talking about? Because I don't know what he raps about now. But I know for sure, like David Banner, he was, you know, what's his song? He was talking about all kinds of stuff. Oh, real hell it down on the floor. On the floor. No, uh, but now he's reformed. And he's like a serious activist. I know. I follow David Banner. Okay. Never I like David Banner. Get like me. Hey. Uh, but I was more. Okay. Stunning Here's my thing. I can't. Think, was on I don't know yep. if any new. So he makes it. I don't know if any new positive music from Ti. That's the only. Reason I don't think he's doing it. any music though. But actually. so what I'm saying is, I like the, what he put out from I like my memory. Artwork. I don't know anything new. David Banner has a different current persona. You know, so it's but his persona, Ti's. I mean, because come on, I mean, T. I'm not going to defend Ti, but he's <laughs> on a, like a family show, and he he does give a positive. He shuts down racist restaurants. He does give a positive perspective, what like Houston's in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. yeah. So on his show with his family, it is a positive outlook. He is married to Tiny. That's the pants right there. Oh, they are still there. Oh, well. Yeah. See, yeah, even better. <laughs> I'm just saying, when they said T.I. was the, the, supposed to be the voice of the people, I think we should have a different voice. That's just my thoughts. But, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, but Snoop was like, fuck Kanye. <laughs> yeah, you heard about that. <laughs> Dillinger uh, putting out a hit, a hit on him. I did, dude, you done put this out on social media. And then you're in shock. Is that you got crips? That you got charges coming. They see you. Kanye. Yeah. Hey, so don't beat his ass. ass. Don't do that, y'all. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna tell no crips what to do. Kanye, yeah. <laughs> protect. But I mean, somebody said, well, they ain't put a hit out on George Zimmerman. I agree. But so yeah. why put a hit out on Kanye? Just saying. I mean, because the crips of blood. But what are we putting a hit the out? The cyborgs. When you even look at it, what's the hit for? 
Right. Nothing. What's he here for? Because he's talking reckless because he's an idiot? There's so many idiots in this world. Like, what are we talking about? We're putting your, your a hit out is on, easy. We're, putting, we're putting a hit out on him because of his words. He didn't even do anything. His words. And his words. We just need but his him. words are powerful. Like, I understand that he it didn't kill me. anyone, kill but there's out. a lot of young people that listen to that and they be like, yeah, because slavery, I would have been, and this and that, and that's dumb, and and they start to have that mindset. Because remember, they're yeah. not taught history in school. What so so if they don't go out and true. push out and go learn about the Middle Passage and the Transatlantic Voyage, they are not going to understand the power of or That's what their parents are for. Parents get up. Come on, man. <laughs> Seriously. You know, we want to hear y'all thoughts. We want to hear y'all thoughts. So call in 713-714-7670. We want to hear y'all thoughts on this conversation too. So call in. What do you think about that man getting liposuction? Can I get he, he did that for y'all. <laughs> yeah, he did that for y'all. I did that for y'all. Cause I ain't what y'all talk about me like Rob Kardashian <laughs> <laughs> made him go home before my wedding. I was like, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up, old liposuction asshole. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but then that goes back to his whole dude is, which is why like I, can you really get so mad at somebody? They got a tummy tuck. Oh, tummy tuck. But then how you jump on that table <laughs> right, right after right after that right right happened to your mom? How you jump on that table? Exactly yeah. because yeah. he cares what people says. He does. He acts like he, but he, he cares. Does. That's why he needs attention. And us doing this and people talking about it gives him attention. That's why I said shout out to J. Cole once again because he's trying to take everybody's fire. You know what I'm saying? He want to take everybody's. And then just like Childish came out with that, he tweeted this morning about different people. Kanye tweeted this morning about different people that he's researching, like he's learning. He should have learned before he spoke. That's my biggest like, issue. You damn right, you're still trying to figure out how you I, learn. I agree with him with free thought, but I mean, he can't just have free thought without education and knowledge and intelligence behind it. You just can't talk. Because that was the other thing. When Van Lathan finally challenged him, he didn't really know how to come back at him. Which is why he was he was like, come on, kid, because you know, you da 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 da. No, nigga, where are your facts? Because nobody talks, you know, ever talks to like. him like that. Because all he got is yes men that's giving him his opioids. I was on opioids for two days before my surgery. I had, I had to take seven when I got home. Oh, they gave me seven. No, I took hey, one. Shut up. He's <laughs> probably smoking laced weed anyway. Cocaine, uh, laced weed. Talk, eating trying placenta. To act like, right. <laughs> eating placenta. Wait, what? Excuse that me? Kardashian episode. Excuse it was like eating what? a human placenta. There yeah. Are. Yeah, uh, a, real, video. a real video. They, a real video. They cooked Fucking and real. ate. Their own? Somebody. It's probably somebody, somebody black. They ate some youth in life. They trying to get all <laughs> melody. <laughs> they did some damn ritual before they ate that shit. Oh, they just sure. yeah, he's not used to they anyone, 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 anyone challenging him. him. Probably no one has challenged him since his mother passed away. Speak. I think the because where's his daddy at? Nobody yeah. ever talk about in his Arkansas. daddy. Where's his daddy? That's a good point. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> anyway. Uh-uh. The dude on TMZ kind of looked like Kanye, though. I thought that all was going to be Yeah. No, they yeah. don't. They resemble. No, they don't. You know what? He went over there and got real quiet when that dude said that. Yeah. For resemblance of statements. Yeah, you can stop. First, I look like the dude shot Oh, that's good. You do. Yeah, nah. Um, <laughs> then you know he wants his album cover to be uh, the doctor that killed his mama. Yep, I saw that. I saw a picture of that. I was like, attention weird. seeker. <laughs> We're not about that. <laughs> he wants specific attention though, which yes. is interesting. He doesn't really want the attention of black people. You no, he you doesn't. Because he wants to run for office because yeah. Trump thanked him. For increasing his black male uh, uh, rating, he, 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 he said that on the award show. That, you know, uh, uh, I'm running for president. You know, the reason why Trump he president. likes Trump, he he admitted, I don't know anything about what's going on in politics. He says I like Trump because he represents the idea that the underdog can make something happen. It's no, he wants to That's be a white man. 
I do agree with that. He's geeked up. I was geeked up about <laughs> trying to be a white man. On opioids. <laughs> so he married a Kardashian and he want to hang out with white people. He want to be in France. Charlamagne asked him about niggas, that. Niggas in Paris. Because, he, he, because if you can't be a white man, he said, maybe I can get as close as possible to mm-hmm. what I want to be. Charlamagne said, why do you want Charlamagne said, why do you want their approval? And his answer was straight bullshit. And I was like, okay, God. You, you're you're right. just proving people's point. Exactly. You're proving people's point. Hmm. Uh, what else? Hey, remember, anybody, anybody had no problem with Trump until he got in office. Everybody, I did. Everybody liked Trump back in the gap. No. Niggas been rapping about Trump for years. He been an asshole. Oh, well, that's this. Let me in now. Let me in now. Bill Gates, Donald Trump, let me in. You remember? Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's Nelly. <laughs> <Nelly. laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> I mean, it's a good moment. We were all like, <laughs> I, I ain't no shit about Trump until he came and all of a sudden, he's an asshole. I thought he was cool. <laughs> I, I, so rich no, I, you know what I'm I didn't think he was he's cool. He's still the that. same person. I didn't think he was cool on that uh, reality show. You're no, he was a super asshole. Right. Yeah, I didn't watch that. The I Apprentice. Know. I only watched a few episodes. I can't say that. You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. What'd you do? You're fired. You're fired. It's like, look, you're gonna resume? No, 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 no. You're fired. Okay. Y'all know we got anything else to say about Kanye? We have a question about the 400 years that slavery was a choice. Uh huh. My question is, I don't, you know. There's no justification. Yeah, for no. Pretty, 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 pretty. I don't want to sound retarded. Okay, like, wasn't it true <laughs> that once, like, some of the slaves were free, didn't some of them purposely stay unoffended because they had nowhere else to okay, go? Okay, you know, like an purpose? elephant that you take the ch- that you've enslaved this elephant and you had these chains on them for so long. If you take the chains off the elephant, it's the elephant. No, no, fuck. Yeah, Is I he going to go? He's not going to go. No, no, no. So. So it's simple. It's simple because you don't know. You don't know any different. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to start? So okay. So then, what you're saying that when he was saying the whole mentally enslaved thing is that what he meant? Is that the part he was talking about? I think when he's saying mental enslavement now, it's more of like we do things to work for people. Our thinking and things that we believe is whatever popular belief is. Mm-hmm. That that's more of what I think he's saying when it comes to mental enslavement. But he still not he still doesn't have the knowledge to really just back it because it's not as simple as saying we're mentally enslaved. Why do people believe certain things? Why are black people against Trump? He doesn't know why. He's just talking. He has no clue why they're against they're against Trump. And then for him to say four hundred years, four hundred years, that looks like a choice. That's stupid. Yeah, we had a choice. I mean, I could get my leg cut off like my brother. I, say, maybe I could get murdered like, like my daddy. Us, you know. We could jump the mother. I ain't gonna lie. Back when I was like younger, I used to think about that before I just fully learned. Learn. And I still don't know like certain shit about slavery, but I would think about that because I would always ask myself a question. I'd be like, what the fuck? Like I would always ask. But they're why. not revolts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there were a significant yeah. amount of revolts. But just imagine if they all did that and all end up the same way it did. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't be here. But then I also ask myself, why was it? Why wasn't it the other way around? Like, why wouldn't the black folks fucking up? I mean, I'm gonna say a part. I'm gonna say a part that people aren't gonna like. Yeah, I'm gonna say a part that people aren't gonna like. Oh, how did black people get here? Yeah, people are gonna say that oh, how did like Europeans were able to go all throughout the world? I mean, they had assistance. Because then they come and take power. Because they say we were such kings and queens. They had assistance. They had assistance from kings and queens. They had assistance, I'm, and I'm saying this, this is not true. <laughs> they had assistance, you know, it is. But the is. assistants didn't know that they didn't know that what type of people slavery were they were wanting them into. That, that is, is correct. In that type of way. Yes, mm-hmm. that is completely correct. You know, so it's difference between like you being a slave and you live in a house with my kids and you. Because they're thinking they're going to be servants uh, in the in the manner like a house boy, house girl, not thinking that they're going to be treated like straight cattle. Right. So we was just chilling in Africa, doing our thing. Chilling. And then all of a sudden these white people just come up. Hey! 
to bring y'all ass. And then we were just like, nigga, who you? But you know, I'm going to go a step further. Lord, there's another killer belief. I would have got killed because I'm angry now. So I, I don't think all shot. black people came on shift. I think some of y'all was already still here. We yeah. were. Oh, yeah. I, I think, think a good yeah. portion of them. So we're we're already here. We were already here because they just enslaved them. So if you yeah. believe that the lands were Indians. connected, right? <laughs> oh, so if you Virginia. believe mm-hmm. that the lands were connected, Look so at the map. people travel. Yep. Travelers. That's what people do. That's why you see they call them indigenous people of that region, Aborigines. You know, mm-hmm. all these different people up in different mountains and and areas. And then when you see those people, they're all darker yep. skin. Mm-hmm. You think migration, migration. They just migrated, and a lot of people were here. Yep. But that's the history they don't tell you. They don't. All y'all came on boats. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because they don't want us to feel like, oh, this is our land too. Like, yeah, it all is. of it. Yeah. North America, <laughs> South America, motherfucking Asia. The indigenous people in Asia are dark. Mm-hmm. The indigenous people in Hawaii are dark. Australia, Australia, Australia. all of it. Group of people, who were the people that were near Australia that they killed? Uh, it was a group. Oh uh, uh, yeah, like, like, like in New Zealand, like yeah, in, in yeah. those areas. Uh, well, straight wiped them out with their diseases. Uh, what was it? Because they tried to the uh, people? assimilate them. Come on, bro. No, there's a they they were a picture. It was Tasmanian. Yeah, Tasmanians. Yes, yeah. they yeah. Kid, they killed them. Yeah. Um, similar to what they did with the. the if you go to Central in America, America, you go. I mean, it's all mm-hmm. the same people. Everywhere. Everywhere, except for the ones that came out the Caucasus Mountains. Mm-hmm. On all fours. Mm-hmm. And and my thing, you said so stupid. <laughs> I just thought what you said. <laughs> I was like, wait, oh. Yeah, what do they call but, themselves? Cavemen? Uh, uh Neanderthals. Neanderthals. Uh, I was gonna say that, uh, what was I at? His comment about the 400 years slaves. Um, he should have never used that as an example to speak on mental enslavement because then like you said about the Holocaust, it was a choice. Try running. Or die. <laughs> like what here are yeah. the choices. <laughs> so that's <laughs> not a choice. <laughs> Y'all don't have a choice. Okay. I mean I'm just there's so many yeah. things that we can say it's a choice and some things are easier said than done. Yeah, don't. And the, and Harry Because he it. knew that it was it would it would be less of an impact because the people that he's talking about were four hundred years of slavery was a choice. He knew he yeah. knows what kind of power yeah. they had to take him out versus yeah. if he said that the Holocaust was a choice. Mm-hmm. So he's not, he wasn't dumb when he didn't he say knew that. exactly what he was saying. Yeah, he knew exactly what he was saying. He knew, like, I can say any kind of shit. These niggas they ain't gonna, gonna do nothing. They gonna and take it. But now these Jews, they gonna shut me down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, hey, it is what it is. So, y'all gonna do something or y'all just gonna let Kanye talk about y'all like that? Who you talking to? Man, I got, I got shit to do. No. If you put in our music like whoopity scoopity doop, whoopity boopity. I mean, <laughs> I mean, in America, in this world, money is is powerful. So if you take your dollar away, you are doing something. Yeah, just don't support him. Don't stream none of his songs. Don't don't do nothing to support him. Don't stream none of his. Don't play none of his songs, DJs. Okay. I tell you, I removed all oh, his shit from my Spotify and R. Kelly and R. Kelly's, shit. And R. Kelly's wow. bitch ass. Oh, we getting on mute R. Kelly? Yes. Let's get on mute R. Kelly. Yeah, we're talking about R. Kelly too. What's up? What's up? I ain't gonna know stop playing money, I'm trying to take him out. Give me that. I didn't know. See, but that's the difference. See, if you was waving your raping little boys, I don't care, I'll still play high and in love. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, we no, just I, talked about okay, rape, rape. That's, that's a different type of honey, honey love. I said I'll still play honey and love. I ain't say nothing about rape. Y'all once said rape. No, I said he was doing I honey said honey I would still be playing honey and love, which I play a whole 12 hey, play album. I don't like all our Kelly stuff. But I was See, still because playing. the impact is not as powerful because, Tom Jones like I said, said it's not too playing. Too because it was, it was black girls. Yeah, people don't care about. I don't, it. Care. Like I don't care who he was raping. If he was raping 
Raping wait, wait. donkeys. Can I get the clues for where I came from? Raping yeah. donkeys. I don't know. No, so they're finally taking a stance. There was a BBC uh, documentary that came out. I actually watched it. It came out like uh, maybe two, three weeks ago. And they spoke with his brother, but I guess his brother didn't really know what they were going to talk to him about. <laughs> and because uh, his brother was actually trying to get back in R. Kelly's good graces, but R. Kelly tried to pay the brother to say it was him on the video. I think everybody kind of knew that, right? Mm. You know? But you're saying what the R. Kelly did, uh, R. Kelly and the women, his harem. It, it, you know, and even just him messing with younger girls. Oh, that they're, whole they're, thing. Yeah, that they're finally taking a stance against him. So there were some powerful women that came together, people like Viola Davis, uh, Kerry Washington, Ava Duvin what, DuVernay, right? DuVernay. DuVernay, Shonda Rhimes. Uh, there's this group of some powerful black Same women. Time. Yeah, no, even um, Eva Longoria. She's a part of this group, so I can't. I guess it's just powerful women in the industry. Period. They've come together and they're like, "No, we're gonna shut you down." And so all his comments. That's right. Shut our Kelly down and change the world. They decided to shut down all. All his concerts were canceled and. Uh, that, do something to make a difference. They ain't gonna make no difference shutting down a nigga from Chicago. That mess with little girls. I mean, because a part of this BBC interview Did he was that he young? hung around these high schools. Okay, he well, hung around these well, high them. schools to get to these little girls. And they said it was a known thing in Chicago. The right. Fact, the fact that we still have here and what we little know, girl is hold on, the fact that we know that he's a pedophile is not even a question, uh, hold on, allegedly. So there has to be adults school. around because R. Kelly's on the prowl? Yeah. The cops are circling. So can somebody okay. stop him? Is he snatching them up or are they going to the car? These are the same girls that they had like in the dungeon, little sex dungeon thing. The, no, they those women like are older. older. Oh, okay. they, those women are older. The oh. ones that are kind of locked up. Yeah. So he he's like, like, he like learned his lesson and, and is now the youngest. He was doing a lot of questionable stuff. Wait, I don't know if that's true because there's a lady, she's like 30 something, 36 or 37, and she said that when she was messing with R. Kelly, that he had a girl that he said he groomed her since she was 14. 30, that's yeah. what he does. So. Man Kelly. I mean, not Kelly. So he's like, a, he's, like a, he's like a black Hugh Hefner. But what, what little girl is Hugh Hefner messing with? Huh? What little what what fourteen? I don't know who you have. I don't know R. Kelly. What's I'm just trying to find out. Of he's thoughts. trying to defend <laughs> R. Kelly. I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to find no, out. No, he's actually thought. trying to defend R. Kelly no, in the grooming of young girls. No, I'm trying, like, I'm trying to find out what's like what's a, really the power of stopping R. Kelly gonna do with the world. What do you mean the world? We just need to stop him. How many black girls? Okay, and what's that gonna do? Are you serious? This man really just like saying, what's money? the difference of these black boys getting killed in Chicago? What difference does it make if we shut down the whole the world? Killers? Yeah, well, I mean, what? You so can't just keep getting killed? No, so yeah, that, that's totally there's different. There's many reasons no, why it's he not. needs to be shut that's, down. That's because right now he thinks he's unstoppable. He's gotten away with things so long that he thinks he's unstoppable. Okay, well, let's stop. Let's stop. How can we stop? They already shut him. They're starting to shut him down. You're yeah. right. silencing his music. Okay. That's a start. I don't listen to R. Kelly or Kanye West. God damn R. Kelly. Let's wipe your songs, man. Fuck. But you know he was married to, <laughs> to like, the leader, right? Yeah, yeah. You know? And then, I think, I mean, well, has everybody it. seen this video? Everybody, everybody seen the sex it. video? With him pissing on little girls? Oh, the girl. Let me see. I was going to say that was his brother. No. Oh, anyway, that was him. The Boondocks, the Boondocks uh, cleared that boondocks up. Boondocks is a cartoon. The Boondocks is real. The Boondocks <laughs> cleared the boondocks that up. Real. It was a cartoon written by real people. The Boondocks cleared that up so well. Said, I'm 15 years old, right? If I see. Oh, I move. If I see a black man on me, I move. move. Yeah. She yeah. definitely did just sit there. Yeah, she, she like, said, she that, that was Riley. Riley. I, I, I move, she see piss, she stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. You 15, you know what I'm talking about. 
Get out the street. That nigga has to be getting away with this shit for a long ass time. He need to go. But he's grooming girls, he's getting girls from the hood. They poor. He's just teaching them they don't have a lot of money. money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm gonna show you a better life. It's like a pimp. It's like the it's like the music it's industry. It's like a pimp. It's like the music you know, industry. Like, what are your thoughts? Stop on, the music. What, what are your no stop it? What are your thoughts on uh, people who put children into uh sex slavery? Sex trafficking. Yeah. Sex trafficking. When they do it to young girls, they manipulate these young girls into these, and they become that sex slaves. Sound like the movie industry. That sound like Hollywood. So it's okay. I, no, it's not okay. So we're we're, we're saying why Hollywood. is it okay? You so why is it okay that? Okay, Hollywood? let's stop Hollywood first, and then we'll stop Mark Kelly. He the bottom. He the man on the bottom. Stop Mark Kelly right now. He's right here. Where? He's part of it. Where? Where's Mark Kelly? I don't know where that is. Is the exact That's reason why people. Think that they can get away with. I'm just saying, start said, with the real problem. I said, my, okay. Doing children like that. Start with the same we stop. Young black girls. But like say that. we stop. Yes. Music. Say we stop our Kelly music. Is that gonna stop him from doing what he's doing? Wait, it's shutting him down. Period. They can find another way to make money. He's he making money from the He don't, he don't ever have, have to do anything making, else. He makes money from to make money his for his money. Exactly. He's going broke. You can tell he's going broke. Uh, he makes money from his concerts, which is why he broke. continues to tour. Which is why he continues to tour, and he makes money from when you guys stream his music. He gets the that residuals. That is how he is making money. So if they put a stop to his music, that's why Tom Joyner, Tom Joyner, nationally syndicated show, okay, big known guy said, I will no longer play R. Kelly's music. One that's or a two, big one deal. Or two still play. Tom Joyner. I heard. He that. don't got no kids. He ain't got no kids. That's why you're talking reckless. I ain't talking reckless. I got kids. I got nieces and nephews. Just no, like that's why you're talking reckless. Yeah, talking reckless. If it was some your naive daughter, because just because somebody is, I would be picking up my daughter from school. Where them dad? Where them little girls' daddies at? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Don't be that person. Oh, well, well, why you can answer? Can you answer, can you answer that? that? Can you answer that? Silky, don't be. Can that you answer that though? Don't be that person. Can you answer you, that? Are you really? really I don't, don't know. Tell I don't think you, can you. I don't believe that you believe. What are the little girls' daddies at? Are you? Not are you trying to say that everybody that's been in sex trafficking, all the young girls, yes, I'm saying that's prostitutes, that's been yes, that's been all have daddy issues. Absence of thought. They all have. <laughs> that's my new friend. Where they daddy at? Absence of thought. That, Absence that's the problem. Thought. Start with the real problem. Yeah, but hold on. Dude. I don't mind yeah, taking our kids yeah, down. Yeah. I don't mind taking our kids off the streets. But people got be on people's daughters. But <laughs> hey, let's, start, so let's start with the be real problem. Be the voice of reason, D Real. This is not somebody got a daddy. It could be a bullshit ass daddy. Exactly. No, no. Exactly. Where he at in her life? He was happy. He was being a horrible ass father. The daddy could have still okay, been well, there. And here's the thing: the daddy. They probably, they probably thought of R. Kelly as is that better daddy. But not only that, but the daddy could have still been yeah. there. But you got R. Kelly, who is this huge celebrity, okay? Mm-hmm. That's coming mm-hmm. at you. You can recognize as a kid that mm-hmm. this dude got mm-hmm. money. He can show me something different. Right. As a kid. Mm-hmm. And that's and that. You can still be coming from a good home, but R. Kelly is known with money, money. Okay. So you would think y'all was remember old girl on Good Times? Remember she was addicted to heroin. JJ girlfriend. She had a good mother and father. Remember that episode? <laughs> <laughs> she was in there doing heroin. Yeah. <laughs> and JJ was gonna marry her. <laughs> she was like, JJ, I need my medicine. <laughs> anyway, go ahead with this bullshit. I do. Remember. Are you gonna continue to uh? Be play devil's advocate, man. No, I'm just that. saying because I, I don't think you believe what's coming out. I don't. About. I, I don't, don't give a crap about R. Kelly. I don't give a crap about a lot of stuff. But you gotta keep it. So, so you but let's like start Kanye with right that's, now. No, I Kanye don't. Kanye was just saying shit for the hell of saying shit, and then said, "I don't you, know." You can't answer what I asked you though. What do Where the daddies at? Are you? What does the word "or daddies" at have to do with R. Kelly? Right. What is the validity to, to your question? That's the problem. What start is with the, the real validity to your question? Start with the real thought. You said that last week. Thought. So. Because you on that bullshit. So. That's why. So two weeks in a row you called me a genius. No, that nigga is not a genius. First you said that last week. Absolutely. He's not. Okay, so last week he was. This I reevaluated. Oh. Kanye is not a genius. He's a genius at. 
the music. drums. Let's start with the real problem. Let's start with the real problems, though. Let's take out the real problems. I don't care. I don't care. R. Kelly gets shut down. But what's that going to fix? Are we doing that? Yeah. Wendy Williams is talking about doing an interview. Or so you're not going to answer that? You're going to skip on. Oh, no answer, so I win. Bam. You didn't, you didn't Case win. closed. There's no winning. That's when when dumb, there's no relevant dumb, questions dumb. To, to the topic, I'm not, I'm not going to. So you well, actually, when there's passing of thought actually, questions. Actually, she did answer that because I asked that. She had said we could. What she said? If you shut down, I can't shut down this meeting for me. I didn't answer. Thank you. I didn't. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So listen. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So where the daddy's at? God damn it. I don't answer. <laughs> <answer. laughs> so Wendy Williams said that she actually. Oh, uh, Wendy guess, Williams went is their daddy? <laughs> went, went to go actually talk Somebody to R. Kelly. Similar to how Charlamagne went to go talk to Kanye. And she says that he can't read and he can't write and she feels sorry for him. And she was crying on the show and everything. I was like, bitch, who can't read and can't write? She? R. Kelly. Oh, that's not what I said. Yeah, but we've been through that. But she was crying and feeling all the same thing. Right. She's like, I know everything. I got to ask him all the questions that I wanted right. to. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote 12 play. Of course he can. TP2. No, he really, he can't he read. Well, Kanye said that he doesn't read books. Yeah, he did say that. That's why I'm like, Kanye is not, he's not just a <laughs> like, genius. He is when it comes to music, but not when it comes books. to social, economical issues going on within the world. He doesn't know shit, you know. But now with R. Kelly, didn't know she was crying for him, saying he can't read or write. Uh, Who about was she crying was for R. Kelly again? Wendy Williams. Because she had a similar sit down with him. <laughs> that Charlamagne got to have a Kanye. <laughs> What I think I'm still I think, trying to understand. <laughs> I think it's a setup for her to have some big interview with him. Why but is she like, crying though? Because he can't read or write. She hurts. Why would, his parents, for 30 years. why would his parents, this nigga 50 years old and have money. If he really wanted to learn to read or write, don't feel sorry for niggas like him. He would have learned. And so, but she Can he like count? I guess he could count up to 12. Oh. <laughs> twelve. <laughs> and then y'all look, you did all them crap in the closet. <laughs> That ain't no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sorry, no. but that's crazy. He can't read. But I knew that. He can't. I, 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 Man, you feel you know can't read? On life? You remember? You said it. But, uh. Um, anyway, it's it looks like it's a bitch set, ass. Well, oh, I was gonna say, this looks like it's a setup that Wendy Williams will probably be having an actual interview with R. Kelly. But I don't R. Really Kelly doesn't need to go crawl under a rock somewhere. It's, it's done. <laughs> Done. Him and his PP. Cancelled. It's pissed. Girl, I'm about to have a bit. Oh, it's about to be some shit. How did I get into this? I thought we was going to sing the Dave Chappelle, Chappelle version. <laughs> 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 this is the remix of this shit. Tell the song about pissing. Good y'all. Good y'all. Yeah. Not my y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure. Yeah, I'm trying to think about anything else that I've seen. No? I think that's about it. Yeah. Good seeing all y'all together this week, all of us. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. nice. Real nice. Yeah. No yeah. callers call then. They just say, hey, call. Listen. Y'all just listen. I don't even think they make dresses. Or I can't see. We can't see them. You know? No, it ain't no coming. No, work. yeah, it is because it's in about a minute. So that's all off. Oh. So they could have been comment that we don't even know. But you can call in before we leave. Yeah, call in 713-714-7670. Oh. You said what? <laughs> no, online it is. Oh, oh shit. shit. Uh. Huh? <laughs> Have a lovely night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so now you pay, you know, to whomever got us all confused. No matter, it's reporting. Yeah. I have people. Hey, don't we no. laugh? Don't stop the conversation because we still. Oh yeah, we still got people. Watching. We still got people on oh. YouTube, and we still live. We still live. Live stream. Yeah. So we've been loving the YouTube. Yeah. We still. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hello. I love you. Won't have any issues with it. That's what he's like. No, he's been doing it. He fixed that. 
long Ooh, time ago. Yeah, she worked with a lot of Caucasians. They like it. Man, I've been watching. Oh, 62 degrees. They like, it, they like it below zero for them to be comfortable. They do. Say, it's hot in here. It's freezing. I got ice in the thing. I'm like, that's why I grew up in a black home. I don't know what past 70 feels like. Under 70. Right. They be like, who paying that bill? With a touch of 70 days. Hold up, mom, right now. I'm home at 77. I'm like, hey, hey. But I come and I see 75. <laughs> Way too cold. Yeah, somebody man. get some money or something. I want a lottery. What are we doing? Why'd you put it at 75? Still saying it's not. What's the number again? Hold on. What's the number? 713 714 7670. Hold on, you'll say I'm hot. I'm gonna cut that fan off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got him to the fan. Oh, can we talk about the Avengers again? No! Because I ain't watching, so no. Are you serious? No! no. no. Man, come no. on! You ain't seen it yet! I've been no. busy, man, like, all weekend. I've been, I've been, I've been no. having gigs. No. We're gonna go. Okay, we gonna okay, go. no, no. Before you go see it, like I was telling you earlier, you gotta watch Captain, yeah, watch watch Captain America Civil War. Watch you got me all this bamboozled. Watch, yeah, watch all that. <laughs> watch all, watch all the Avengers. I got a Ragnarok. <laughs> Let me catch, I'm gonna watch Last it. Five minutes I just what? don't want y'all to talk right. about it. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, Get it together. So we're going to the next one. You ready watch? Yeah, 713 714 7670. I always watch all of them like most of the time. I'm going to watch it, but I have to catch up on the other one. I saw it three times. What, the Avengers? I got free time. Well, you got it on the thing? Yeah. Yeah, I got free time. Movie now? Man, but definitely that Civil War, even uh, Winter <laughs> Soldier, all of them, all of them. Oh, and Doctor Strange, watch that too. Oh, I, I like Doctor Strange. Oh, um, you don't really have to watch Doctor Strange when I mean, they just want to know who that is. But I thought People it was skip Doctor Strange. yeah, yeah. But I thought it was good because he had an Infinity Stone. Yeah, well, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up and definitely gonna watch. Where you get his Infinity Stone from? Mm -hmm. Gotta watch Doctor Strange. Exactly. <laughs> Wasn't Doctor Strange cape the whole power? His whole power? Or no, the cape was a, was a, was a, was a <laughs> like a, you know, and it was a big like, it's a weapon, cape. it's a weapon, it's a weapon, it's a weapon that it was just, it was inside. I feel like y'all are going to slip up and say something. No, no, no not about Doctor Strange. When I first watched Doctor Strange, because I, I did hear about it when I was little, because my cousin got like a million, uh, comic books and he used to let us look through them or he would show us because he didn't want us to touch them because they were still in the package and I seen Doctor Strange a little bit you know I didn't know a whole bunch about it but when I watched the movie I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was it's a good movie it is Doctor Strange is good yeah and I thought it, it was going to be like yeah. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, it it's a good movie good. then make sure you watch the what was that Avengers the one before Infinity. What is it? What's it called? Civil War. No, that's no, Captain America. America. Oh, my bad. No. Just uh, Avengers. Uh, Age of think. Ultron. Yeah. Yeah. Age of Ultron. Oh. Watch that one. I, 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 I just always I, feel I, like I, that Captain America was an Avengers movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like that. That's what. Yeah. That. No. Because it did feel like an Avengers movie. Everybody thing. was in that mug. Yeah. Everybody oh. was in there. Even Ant Man. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. I wish. You got something to say? Uh, Nobody gonna say that. No, <laughs> I didn't see it either. I'm just saying we can go to the movies. Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 get his ticket. Let's go. I got rum punch. Oh, oh. rum? <laughs> rum punch. <laughs> I got rum punch. 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 So anyway, definitely see that. And you can go watch Black Panther again if you want to. I watched it twice. Okay. I watched it three. I got a question. When, when, uh, when Black Panther, I'm sorry, this, is, this part doesn't really matter. But Black Panther was like, let me do this and get this man a suit. Get him a suit. Oh, he said a shield. 
Don't get, don't get him a shield. I thought he said a suit. I thought he said a suit. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all you know, talking about remember, the movie? Remember what? Stop. Stop. No, we ain't talking about that. Remember Civil War? This is the TV, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I mean, I was sitting there looking at him and I said, who the hell did he get a suit? Everybody got on the same shit. I was confused. Yeah, he said a shield. Oh, shield. Okay. And you know why the shield, right? Yeah. Okay. You got to remember, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know why. But Brandy. Quiet place. No, during that broke. It was yeah. Different. Remember during Civil War? Yeah. Who broke it? I don't know how it got broke, but we well, no, it didn't get broke. No, uh, Tony he was supposed to leave it. No, Iron Man wanted the shield back that his yeah, daddy uh, yeah had gave gave like Captain America, left, right? yeah. and he but after he got it. his friend, the Winter Soldier did mm -hmm. Bucky because he killed his parents. Yeah, because he killed him. Tony Stark's mm -hmm. mom. <laughs> you, you remember that? Right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, just feel like I was gonna slip up. It works. Okay. Cool. No, we talking about it because you I, need I, to I, watch I'm, I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch up. What's the next subject? We going bye bye? Jeez. This was? Yeah, who's gonna go? Uh, hey, y'all get y'all social media handles. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank y'all. DJ Damn Be Real. Follow me at DJ Damn Be Real. <laughs> um, you can <laughs> reach me at Nigel P on Instagram. She will be posting I shit. Like things posted. Okay. I'm not a social media person. Just go there and look at her uh, picture from eight years ago. Guess what? Eight years ago. I might just make uh, wild comments on the shade room, <laughs> so I start <laughs> arguing with people. Wow, wild comments. They argue with you back too. Woo! Wild 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 eight years ago. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Six months ago. Oh, look at that glow. That's good. It's not even five months yet. It's like the same. That's right. Oh, my birthday is Wednesday, yo. Oh, happy birthday. What is that, Taurus? Oh, you're a Taurus? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Whoa. Sorry. Taurus is brown. Taurus is She said that's whack. Taurus is on the track. We're alive. No, they are right. We'll kill you. Right, that's Chris Brown. His no. birthday was. <laughs> oh yeah, he just had a birthday. I was like, crazy as horses. They like to beat on women. <laughs> they like to beat on women. That's not true. That's not a bunch of women. Shut up. And Gemini's is crazy. Gemini's are crazy. Attention seeking, crazy, two faced asses. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Taurus is also Libras is crazy. Funny. Uh -oh. Do I like to know that? Libras is crazy. That makes more sense. Okay, yeah, Libras are crazy. No, no we're not balanced. Oh, yeah, and loyal. Balanced on what? And uh, loyal. Ice. They're balanced and loyal. That's just Gemini. That's Gemini talking. They believe in fairness. Ain't no Gemini. Different from what I'm. What you talking about? All the insanes. Lauren Hill, Kanye West, and Saints. Ice Cube. Talking about Gemini's. Andre 3000, Prince. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. Oh, they must be. Genius. Who? Prince? No, he's Gemini. Oh. They got a 10 15, girl. Ain't Kanye Gemini? Yes. Ain't Andre 3000? Yes. Bipolar. Then a motherfucker. I think there are very great people under my sign, though. Uncle Charlie. Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius? Yes. Sag Sagittarius. Ah, yes. <laughs> That's uh, Nicki Minaj. She is. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's Nicki Minaj. Who oh, else? Well, ah, you know who else is? Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet oh, actually sense. shares my exact birthday. Hey, so but what, what type of sexuality? She said she was pansexual. pansexual. Yeah. What does that mean? That she believes. <laughs> <laughs> it means that she believes in love, loving the person, not the gender. Just get freaky. Ooh. No, well, not getting. No, for her, for her, it has nothing to do with sex. It has everything to do with I'm in love with whatever I fall in love with. This con connection. Did you say whatever? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, because she's whatever. dating men and women. She's a so fine. She's crazy. But I love that. What's that? Jenna Day? What's her name? Jenna. Oh. The new one? Jenna. Huh? The new one? so gorgeous. The guy, uh, classic man. Jenna. You said her album? Yeah, I like her new album. I haven't listened to it yet. 
I What's it called? I know it had like a simple name too, but I don't know it why. It does have a simple name. All sexual. I can remember is yoga. <laughs> Yoga's not on that. Oh, that, that was a okay. What is called? Uh, what is called? She has a song Pen called Django. Dirty Django. Dirty, Django, Dirty, Django, Dirty, Dirty computer. computer. Dirty computer. Porn. Dirty sex. Oh, no. Dirty computer. Yeah, yeah, dirty, dirty sex mouth. Wow. Wow. <laughs> she doesn't even try to come off. Thank you for listening to. She doesn't even try to come off. She doesn't even try to come off all freaky and. She really don't though. She she's never done that. Who cares? She's never been that type of person. It's not about how you come off. It's what you say. What is she saying? She says she loves everybody, boys and girls. She just says she has balls in her mouth. Why are you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, why is he trying to demonize her? That's, 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 that's a gentleman not talking. Exactly. Yeah, and that's exactly. the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all for joining me. I'm talking. 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 I'm tal